Another type of problem that might happen, and this gets asked quite frequently, I'd say, on exams and whatnot, is the following. You're given A is equal to this matrix, negative 1, negative 4, 1, 3. All right, and now you're asked to find A to some power, let's say, uh, 11th, right? And so you want to find A to the 11th, but you're given A. And so what can you do? Well, one way you can do it is to, you know, multiply this dude 11 times, right? Except you'll be here, and if you're on an exam, like let's say a 50-minute exam, uh, at the end of 40 minutes, you'll have, you'll have your answer. Well, maybe not 40 minutes, but you get the point. So how do we do this problem? Well, we can think of it this way. Um, remember how we said A could be written as SJS inverse generally, or if it's diagonalizable, it's, we can write it as A is equal to SDS inverse. Well, what happens if we raise A to a particular power? Let's say we raise A to the K, right? Where K is just some number. Uh, what happens to the right-hand side over here? Well, this actually works out very nicely in that this now equals SJS inverse. And why is that? Let's take a look. Because if A is equal to SJS inverse, all right, what is A squared? Well, A squared will be SJS inverse times SJS inverse, right? Because you have A and you have A, which is A squared. Now, what happens is that S times S, S inverse times S is just the identity matrix. And now you get S, J, J, S inverse, which is S, J squared, S inverse. So A squared is equal to this. And by some induction argument, you can then conclude that this right here is true. So, all right, that's enough theory. Um, mm -hmm. So how then are we going to solve this problem? Well... If A is diagonalizable, we're going to diagonalize it. And if it's not diagonalizable, then we're not going to diagonalize it. So uh, then we're, uh, if it's not diagonalizable, we'll put it in Jordan form. So either way, uh, you want to find eigenvalues uh, first. And so you get uh, negative 1 minus lambda, negative 4, 1, 3 minus lambda. Okay. And now I take the determinant of this, which is... Uh, negative 1 plus lambda times 3 minus lambda, right? Factor out the negative sign, and then I add 4. And so now this becomes what? Um, this becomes negative uh, 3 uh, plus 3 lambda minus lambda minus lambda squared plus 4. And so this is lambda squared uh, minus 2 lambda plus 1. And so you get lambda minus 1 squared equals zero, right, as a characteristic polynomial, and so lambda equals one with multiplicity two. All right, and then now what? Uh, so now you check lambda equals one, and you get negative two, one, negative four, two, and then your multiplicity is two, your nullity is only one, so now uh, j then, is going to be one 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 okay and to find s well what is s and you can say that s could be one two right uh or 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 whoops sorry i'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself so we gotta square this guy and if we square two one negative four two you should get negative two one negative four two Right, because this tells me I have a 2 by 2 block. So I have to take the 2 and I have to square it. And here I get what? I get... Um, let me actually just write it next to each other so I can actually do this. Uh, you get 4 minus 4, 0. 1 minus... Okay, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so you get a 0 matrix, which is to be expected. And... So now what? Um, now we can choose our generalized eigenvector to be, I'm going to choose 0, 1, okay? And then uh, a minus lambda i times 
uh, VG is then equal to uh, this column right here, which is 1, 2. All right, so S then will be 0, 1, 1, 2. All right, and maybe I shouldn't use purple. Let's use another color. Let's use green. So if I, oh, so this should be 1, 2. There's that column, and then VG will be 0, 1. So you get 0, 1, 1, 2. Okay, and so now we have S and we have J. And okay, so now I have to take J and I have to raise it to the K power, where in our case, it's the 11th power. So now I want to do S. So we have 1, 2. So A to the 11th equals S, J to the 11th, S inverse. So this is A, uh, 1, 2, 0, 1, and then times J, uh, J which is 1, 1, 0, 1 and then times S inverse, which if you do the matrix trick, it actually ends up being uh, this guy, or the two by two trick uh, for inverses. And then, okay, so now I have to raise this guy to the 11th power, and what is one, one, zero, one to the 11th power? So a lot of you guys are probably at this point, you're like, oh, this is useless. Like we, we got to raise another matrix to the 11th power anyways. Usually what happens is that this guy in the middle is actually a pretty easy uh, guy to raise to the 11th power and that there's some kind of, uh, you know, some kind of pattern that's going on. So let's see what, what, what the pattern is. So what if I did one, one, zero, one times one, one, zero, one? Well, I get one, two, zero, one. Okay, and now, then this is so this is uh, 1 1 0 1 squared what is 1 1 0 1 cubed well that becomes 1 2 0 1 times 1 1 0 1 which is 1 3 0 1 and you'll quickly see that there's a pattern is that whatever power I raise this to is whatever entry is in the top right while everything else stays the same and so this then is actually equal to 1 0 2 1 times 1, 11, 0, 1, times 1, 0, negative 2, 1, right? And so now we can actually just multiply this matrix out and get what our answer is supposed to be. And in this case, we get uh, 1, 11, 2, 22 plus 1 is 23, times 1, 0, negative 2, 1, which is then... Uh, one negative one times uh, minus 22, so that's negative 21. 11, uh, two minus 46, so negative 44, and then zero, and then 23. And so this is going to be the answer for a to the 11th. And notice that we just raised. Then the shortcut is to raise j to the 11th um, after we put in Jordan canonical form. Uh, also, again, this works for diagonalized for diagonalized matrix matrices as well. Um, and it's probably actually, is it easier? Yeah, it's actually easier that way because when you have a diagonalized matrix like lambda one, lambda two, zero, zero, um, then this guy to like uh, the kth power is just then lambda one to the k, lambda two to the k on the diagonal. Um, you don't have to do any of this fancy like pattern recognition like we do with Jordan canonical form matrices. So diagonalized matrices are even easier to, to, to find matrix powers with. And in general, when you have matrix powers, uh, don't like brute force the matrix multiplication. Uh, put it in one of these forms and then uh, do something with the middle matrix.